so to glue together these bigger models that I do um, I need something I can wick into the seams between the two parts uh, Matt Gordon over at MakerBox turned me on to this stuff called same stuff you can get it through micromark.com I just go to their main page type in same stuff and as you see here you can get two bottles and an applicator for 20 bucks now I've rigged up a special applicator I also bought some of these transfer pipettes and chopped the top off of one I'll show you here in a little bit that way I can suck a little bit more into the applicator and do longer runs um, but yeah this st great stuff it'll glue together about any PLA that I've tried so far including polyalchemy and a lot of stuff doesn't like to glue polyalchemy the nice thing is it's much thinner it wicks in the seams much more like acetone does when gluing pieces of acrylic together um, and it seems to work really good for most of my projects uh, the Thanos blade was put together with it and right now we're gonna go ahead and put together the Mandalorian rifle with it all right so as you can see here we've got one half and the other half you all saw what happened at the end of the print unfortunately the seam of the belt for the first time ever lifted off of the stainless and it caught the peeler at the top and jammed up and well you guys saw what happened so I just sliced off the stock and I reprinted that which you saw now we're gonna go ahead and glue all this together I've also got the scope and the trigger I've got a bottle of the same stuff here is my custom applicator I made basically just make it to where I can squeeze and suck up a bunch of the adhesive and I've got a couple of clamps to put this all together so what we're gonna right now is we're gonna take our one piece that I managed to finish on one piece if you remember if you guys remember you saw that it I looked like I got a clog and it kept going while I was able to step it back and restart it it actually wasn't a clog uh, the threaded knurl or the threaded heat set that goes in the Bond Tech extruder for some reason on the tensioner pulled out so it just wasn't feeding filament I put a new heat set in and it continued on just fine lined up pretty close so we're gonna we're gonna start by putting on the buttstock first just gonna go ahead and line it up on here and start clamping it in place Snug it for the moment. All these seams feel pretty, pretty straight. Now I'm going to put this stuff up out of the way here. Now I've got a few spots that are nice and tight, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and wick. You can't see it. I'm just going to go ahead and wick some same stuff right down this seam here and kind of push it together a little bit more and let it get that edge all nice and done up. Get this brush dried off and out of the way. I just take my time moving nice and slow down the seam letting it wick down in, the, in between all the layers or the two halves I guess I should say stop right here for the moment go ahead and push these pieces together 
and it doesn't take long at all for this to set. You're just blowing on a little bit, almost enough to take care of it. Okay, work my way down the seam, pressing it together. Most shapes, unfortunately, you can't just put the clamp and squeeze it really tight because it'll push it hard in the center and then cause the edges to bow out. You just need to snug it in place enough and then whip down the edges. And yeah, my fingers get a little tired by the time I'm done putting bigger pieces together. But this seems to be the best way. And what I'll do is I will just continue all the way around this piece, putting it in place and work my way down, putting the rest of the pieces on the gun. Assembled Mandalorian sniper rifle. Quite a long rifle here. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this over to Sean at Art Mods. He's going to paint this up for me. So this will be continued on the Art Mods channel. So let me hand this to Sean and let him get started on it. Here you go, Sean. Alright, see you in the next episode.